Hello friends, welcome to my ways. I hope you guys are doing well. This is my first ever YouTube video. I post videos related to lifestyle in this channel. This video is about toddler that is one to four years children's cupboard makeover. Especially in this age, children become choosy for what they wear and what they eat. So in this condition to make their cupboard organized and keep their cupboard organized is next to impossible. And I am facing the same problem these days. So let's plan and organize my daughter's cupboard in my ways. This is the cupboard where the item of my baby are kept. This cupboard is very old and purely made up of wood. She can easily open it and choose her clothes. In short, she can create mess easily. The door of the cupboard are used to space some of the crafts she does in school. It helps babies to stay motivated. Now, let's start the mission. I am removing all the craft from the door and stick that on a bulletin board, which I have made by myself. The video will be soon on this channel. So, do subscribe our channel to get more such videos. Removing all the items from the cupboard gives you the idea of the space you have. After removing all the items, let's give a dusting to the cupboard. Now it's time to sort out the cloth as per the category. I am categorizing the item into 8 categories. Home, not use, frocks, inner and night dress, cultural dress, outgoing cloth, to donate cloth, winter clothes. In here at Kathmandu, whenever rainfall occurs, it becomes slightly cold for the children, so winter clothes are a must on every season. I am using basket to keep the clothes as per category. color basket is for our green clothes and socks. Pink color basket is for home clothes. This big bag is for the cloth to donate. This is unused clothes, frock section, wind cheaters, and this basket is for inners and night dress. This is a DIY basket. If you wish to see the video on this basket then comment on the comment section below. I'm lining the cupboard by using cloth. You can use newspaper or any anti-slippery liner. Now it's time to make everything on place. Let's make the tag for the cupboard. I have taken pink colored FO size paper and divided it into an equal section. By using scale, tear it above the section mark. I am writing categories in the paper. To make it more fun, I am drawing cartoons which goes with the label. This is now will be used as a tag on the cupboard. Home clothes are kept on the upper section in file system as it will be easy to find out the cloth and become less messy. Jackets and raincoats are kept here as it became handy to pick while going out. The low shelf is for inners and nightdress in this DIY basket. Frocks are kept here. Not used clothes, some winter clothes, to donate clothes are kept here on the lowest shelf. After donating the clothes, this bag is again used to collect the clothes to be donated 
and the cycle continues. Inner portion of the door is used to hang some towel. This section is for some random items and the cultural dresses that she uses on her school functions. I have not kept my daughter's outgoing clothes on the same cupboard as she tends to use them all. However, whenever she wishes to wear, I dress her up. So let's visit the another cupboard also. This is an old steel cupboard which I have painted by myself and given it a feel of space with some stars, moon and rocket. I'll try and attach some pictures of that DIY cupboard makeover at the end of the video. Here some of my clothes are kept and this green basket is for outgoing clothes of my daughter. Some outgoing frocks are hung here. Some jackets are hung here. Winter clothes are kept at the down shelf in the bags and DIY storage box. Organization doesn't have any sudden rules. What is easy for me may not be for you. I hope my video gave you some motivation to get stay organized. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like my videos, give a thumbs up and share it with your close Do subscribe ones. our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. My socials are listed on the description box below. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Stay safe.